Hello everyone. I am in my room. I have my light up here because it is so dark and gloomy out there. We've got some freezing rain going on. It's a perfect day to be inside, cozied up with a fireplace, watching a little tube, maybe catching a nap. I think that's in my future today. But I'm coming to you today because I thought I had my video done yesterday. <laughs> I did. I could share it with you if you want. I went out and I double checked online to see what the second week of Advent was. And according to the things that popped up on my search, it was peace. And so I did my video on peace. This is like in front of the church yesterday and it was a good one, <laughs> if I do say so myself. I think uh, I nailed the peace piece. But it's not peace. When I actually put the word Catholic in there, the second week is faith. Now, I don't have these things memorized. I don't know if you do, but I don't. So I have to scratch that video, and now I'm gonna to talk to you about faith. Now, if you want me to share it, put a comment in. If I get over, I don't know, 20 comments, I will post the former video. Hey, it's helpful, right? Who doesn't want more peace? But this week we're continuing on from hope and I hope you had a persistent week of hope. I hope that you went to God and never stopped asking him for your desires. Be persistent, be that widow, be knocking on the door. God will open it if your will is his. So this week is faith. Faith, 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 faith. In my faith coaching practice, I have a lot of people that say, I'd like to deepen my faith. And I remember in my journey, I wanted that too. But when you really think about it, what does that mean? I wanna deepen my faith. First of all, faith is a gift. And if you're watching this and you're wondering why you might not really believe in Jesus, or why you're not convicted that there's a God, all you need to do is ask Jesus in. It is that simple. Lord Jesus, if you exist, I want to know you. Please come into my heart, come into my life, and then see what happens. So I had the gift of faith given to me. I didn't need God. What do I need God for? I'm an executive in corporate America. I got this life. I don't need anything. I don't want to change my life, certainly. Ugh, those people, Christians, boring. I want to keep partying and doing whatever I want to do. But God had a totally different plan. But what we need to do is ask for more faith every day. Just like the apostles and the disciples, they asked for more faith. How about, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief? Because in the end, that's really what it's about. Faith is trust in God. If you can say, I want to increase my trust, I like to change it up. I like to tell everyone that I coach to think about it as a relationship. This is a love affair that you're having with God, the one who created you, the one who knows exactly what he made you to be. So why we don't run and try to develop that relationship is beyond me. So how much do you trust God and his plans, especially today with what's going on? Maybe you have different things going on in your personality, but let's look in the world. Do you trust that God's got this? Or are you full of fear, worry, anxiety, anger? This is where we must ask God for more faith. Lord, I believe, help my unbelief, because we all need it more and more every single day. So this week, let's focus on asking God to help us trust him more. Lord, we want to trust you. We want to let go. We want to be joyful and peaceful and happy. We want to be loving to everyone, but we need your faith. We need more faith in our lives, your trust in us. 
How is it going? Are you spending more time with God? Yesterday I went to confession, spent an hour in adoration, then went to mass. Just beautiful. I'm running to him more. I'm spending more time in silence. I really hope and pray that you are too. Remember, the reason for the season is preparation for us to celebrate Jesus' birthday, but also to prepare for the second coming. When you live for the audience of one only, your life should change. You should be doing things that please God. So what are you going to do this week? Share, share. So this week, I'm going to make sure that I go to daily mass every single day and then spend time after mass, at least 15 minutes, thanking him, loving him, praising him, and asking him into my day. So if you want to share what you're going to do this week, please do, because you might have a great idea for somebody else. And we're all walking in this together. I love those who put the comments in because it makes me smile that I'm getting some sort of feedback from people out there. I love you guys, and it's great. And then when other people comment on the other comments, it's even better. I mean, let's get this kind of technical, spiritual companion, you know, thing going through this technology, because sometimes we're lonely and we need each other through this. All right, now I'm just rambling. It's raining hard, don't know if you can hear it. I wish you the best, most holy Sunday, the Lord's Day. And I pray that you love everyone in your life today, that you are a witness of Jesus and that you ask him for more faith. We need more trust, we need more trust. By the way, I took idling my phone into confession. I don't do that much. And as we think about faith and trust, we probably should be bringing pride to confession every single time. How many times do you rely on yourself and don't trust God? Happens too much. Okay, I love you all. I really do. Find something more with God. And have a blessed and inspired day. Take care.